And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2016 STJFL Under 13B Grand Final. It's the Sorrell Boys up against Glenorchy. And there are the Young Eagles going through the banner right there in front of us. Here comes the Magpies looking splendid in that wonderful banner as well. Given the uh, muddy confines there of that centre wicket area. For the first time, Glenorchy have an opportunity to go inside their 50 oh, as go. Rhodes goes out wide to Saavedra. Saavedra back indoors. Now's a big opportunity. It's their first forward thrust. And it is a goal there to Saavedra. But I guess they're just trying to get that forward momentum. And so far, it's worked for the Maggies. They've only been in there once, but a fantastic result with their 1-1-7 to the Eagles yet to score as McKay goes back over his uh, shoulder. And it is that man again, Jude Saavedra, who takes that mark. He's a dangerous player. He's got the Eddie Betts about him, Duff. He's got the big shorts. He runs around and he looks likely to uh, take this game apart. And he's marked 15 metres out. He'll go back and kick towards that northern suburbs end. Oh, he's a classy player. Yeah, they were. So the master clip dog grooming Sorrell Eagles. They're really trying to work their way forward there, Duff. But it is Glenorchy now. They've got a sniff. Thank they you. are just to go. We, we really don't want, for the sake of the game, the Sorrell boys uh, to, to allow Glenorchy to go into autopilot. They've been uh, very dominant. They've been good. And uh, here they go with another opportunity going forward and Blair Wood has taken that marked up. He's giving the high fives already there before he's kicked the goal, but oh, he was never going to miss from there. There's another one. And, uh, not looking too good at that at all here for the Eagles. Three goals in about five minutes, I think. Much better play by them on that particular occasion as they uh, decided to hold the ball as Whitney drove it particularly long. This is where they've come undone, but now here's a chance as they pick that ball up oh, and go. drive it through. I think that might be Callum Dargan. As Glenorchy burrowing their way forward, gets it out to Aiton. He can't take keen possession. Well done there by Kate from Sorrell. Comes out the back and just a quick flick in time, marking that ball going around oh. the body. Nicely done there by Trey Rhodes. They need to be a little bit more intense around the contest. There are certain things in football, Duff, that aren't skill orientated. Things like standing on your man, things like getting up and on those little one percenters, and that's what uh, Sorrell have to do. These are non-negotiables as the oh. ball comes forward and the big man coming out and taking the mark was Trey Rhodes. Beautiful mark there. Very much the power forward and uh, arched his back and took a clean mark as he goes back. Umpire oh. Owls over the top of his hat and is through for a goal. And he moves not like a big man, doesn't he? he he's got, uh, he's very good the way he goes about his work as Glenorchy uh, leading out. And the man who took a very nice mark in the first quarter was Whitney. He's able to get the handball across and coming out. That is magnificent. Uh, belying the stature of his body, he has taken uh, six, uh, sorry, four marks already has Jude Savendra. Marks very well for a very short player. Here he comes in here, Hoppy. And Driving he the ball. Converts very well as well. Three shots on goal to three goals to Jude Savendra. Nine minutes gone. Again, just reiterating, this is the third quarter of uh, four 15-minute quarters. Oh, it gee. is the under-13B Division Grand Final. The first one of three. We've got the under-16s, and then also we have the girls following that as Jacob Whitney oh, hooks that go. one over his shoulder, and he has snapped that one through. Got it out of the danger zone. It's out on the centre wing now, and it's a 50-50 contest again. And it comes. Comes back over towards the back, towards one of the better players for Sorrell in Arnold. But it is Glenorchy through. Cody Tapp drives that ball forward. Coming oh. out, taking a terrific mark there, Duff, was Trey Rhodes. What a grab hop. Rhodes now... You can see he's just inside the 50. He does the team thing, goes right down towards the square, looking for a mark. And taking the really clean duke was Blake Campbell. What a great mark that was, Duff. And what about this grab too, Andrew? A couple of power forwards I've got here, haven't they? Yep. You can see there, went back and has popped that one through. Terrific work there by Blake Campbell. This is where he was, I think, when it got touched before, Duff. You can see the long kick, and it's gone right into the square. Oh, here's a mark. Terrific work there. 
and that's Nicholas Devine. Devine's going back and he's going to have a shot on goal. Got one of the longest fringes I've ever seen, Duff, yeah, of a, a footballer. Just, is that a sweatband going across there, Andy? No, Duff, that's part of the toop. Part of the toop. It goes from Kevin Bartlett style from the back to the front, right on the side and back over again. Like a big comb over fringe. And uh, he has gone back and snagged that one through for a goal. Well played, young man. Good mark by Nicholas Devine. And he's put it through for Sorrell's second goal. They are now 2-1-13, which is quite often the case on a team that's winning in a dominant performance like they are today, Duff. And here we go again. I like the run of this boy too. He's seen him a couple of times. As he's taken two bounces here, Andrew. Got around on the right foot. Kicks it down towards the big fella. And there he is, the big Peter Hudson of the STJ for under 13s. Going to go back here at the North Hobart Cricket Club end. Just taking his time and just a little dinky kick. It's been a pretty clean game, Hoppy. And let's just hopefully uh, both teams can fight this one out. We've only got about three minutes left. Oh, get up, Tyson, mate. there is as good a goal as you'll see in any form of football. That's terrific work there by Stacey Tyson. But Jaden Tapp and is. the siren has gone. Siren. And she's all over. Glenorchy have come away with a very, very comfortable victory. Yeah.